Greetings everybody, my name is Captain Jonas here and welcome back to another Diablo video. Today we're gonna make a build guide for the Ina Water Monk. Alright, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so we still have the option to craft our own primal that we want. If we have 100 primordial ashes. It's still possible. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so actually not much has changed regarding of the last season, but we're still going over it because some things might have changed. Alright, so starting with the weapon, we go for the Ina's Reach. And we make that one a primal. You want to make that one a primal so you can get the maximum mystic ally damage of 120%. Holy damage, you need to have holy damage, damage, dexterity, and attack speed on there. So, for the weapon, not much has changed. Okay. Frostburn. What do you want there is attack speed, critical hit, critical hit damage and critical hit chance, but you also want cooldown instead of dexterity. So if you can't find one with cooldown, it's all right. Your cooldowns for the mythic ally in a set is huge and you don't actually need that much cooldown. All right, for the shoulders, we go for the augils and then we have dexterity or resist cooldown and mystic ally damage preferably 13 percent or higher everything under 13 is basically just scrap it and make a new one all right for the braces we also go for the augils you want to have gold skill on there dexterity vitality critical damage as i said not much has changed actually all right for the Ina set that you're gonna wear is besides the Ina's Reach. You're also gonna go for Ina's Radiance, Dexterity, Vitality, and Critical Strike, uh, Critical Chance, sorry. For the Ina Vest, you want to go for Dexterity, Vitality, and Mythic Ally Damage. You want to have that roll of 15% on there. That is very important. Ina's Favor, Dexterity, Vitality, all resists and life. Fifteen percent life. You want to have as much health as you can get. For the Ina's temperance, you want to have dexterity, vitality, and armor. Crudus boots, dexterity, vitality, armor. Preferably all resists, but if you can't get all resists, go for either generates life or movement speed. And you want to have a legendary power of at least 195%. Right, for the rings, restraint, damage, critical hit, damage, and critical hit chance. For the focus, attack speed, critical damage, and critical chance. For the squash necklace, Critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and preferably an elemental skill for in this case for the water ally, uh, for the water ally, you want to have cold on there. That is what you want. For the gems, enforcer, as high as you can get it. 150 is maximum, 100 say 110 is the bare minimum that you actually need. Bait of the Trapped, once again, all the way up to 150. Increase damage against enemies under the effects of control impairing effects by X amount of percentage. Bane of the Powerful, gain 20% increased damage for X amount of seconds after killing an elite pack. Gain 15% increased damage versus elites and take 15% reduced damage from elites. There's not much to it. 
the build is still the same. So for this reason as well, we have like the Paragon. So I will go over the Paragon build as well. All right, your skills. Way of the Hunter Fist Assimilation. Cyclone Strike Implosion. All right, Mystic Ally, Water Ally. Dashing Strike, Blinding Speed. Serenity, Ascension. Epiphany does a shroud. For your passive skills, seize the initiative. Beacon of Ether. Near death experience. Relentless assault. Right, for the Paragon board. For the Paragon board, because we only can have 800 Paragons attached over the entire board, it is important that you build it correctly. Right, so for your movement speed, that's maxed out at 50 for 2 out of 200. And your dexterity will also be maxed out to 150 in your core. In your offense, for the monk you want to have 15, 15 out of 200 attack speed. Cool run reduction is 50. Critical hit chance is also 50. Critical hit damage is 85. It is important that you build it like this. Your monk will be powerful if you take this board. Right, defense. This is important. I just maxed out this all to 50 as usual. So you want all this to have certain survivability. Utility, you don't want to put. Points in area damage if you are playing the Ina Mystic Ally. Regardless, is water, fire, stone, earth, it doesn't matter. You do not want area damage in there. Your resource cost will be 100 out of 200, your life per hit will be 60 out of 200, and your gold pickup radius, because your pickup radius is important, and you Put there 40 out of 200. All right, not much is wrong or difficult. It's just how, how good the setup is. And you can run GR's 90 with this one in less than two minutes. So if you build this one, you're going to do some speed content and that is always good. Alright guys, thank you all for watching, have a good one, stay healthy, and catch you in the next one. Bye-bye!